Okay, we're going to tie one of my favorite little flies. This is a uh, totally dumb fly. Um, I'm not proud of it. It's not my pattern. Um, it's just a fly that I've come in contact with over the years that really does work. Um, this fly is called a pig sticker, and that's from the Latin term uh, for sticker of pigs, which means it catches big fish. And truthfully, um, I've probably caught more big giant fish on this fly than I have uh, nearly any other. Um, so it's worth worth tying and having around. This is a uh, variation um, you know, of aquatic worm pattern where you'd normally fish a um, San Juan worm pattern. Um, I'll usually fish a pig sticker. And one of the things I like about the pig sticker <coughs> is that it uh, can be tied weighted. So I can fish it as a dry dropper rig um, where a conventional San Juan worm is just... Uh, not heavy enough to, to get down. So um, I'm going to start with a uh, Gamakatsu C12U and this is a size 6. Um, you can see it's a kale style, it's like the old Mustad 37160 um, kale style bend and I'm going to take some 15 thousandths lead wire you know again like I keep mentioning that's how the pros keep their lead wire, try to keep it as loose as you can. You know, hopefully if there's some stuff coming off the end of the spool, um, that's how people know you're not messing around. So I like to keep mine that way. little pro tip there for you. I'm going to grab one end of this lead, and way down here around the bend is where I'm going to start it. And I'm going to wrap all the way up over the hump. And I don't really worry too much about button those turns right close together because I've got a chance to squeeze them back back together here in a minute. Like so. So I weighed them pretty heavy. Um, then I'll break those two ends off. Now I've got a few friends that use heavier size lead wire and just make a few wraps in the center so you kind of have a, a lump there. Um, I like a little bit more gracefully tapered worm. Um, those same friends, Luke Beaver. Um, also don't mind if the lead wire shows through the, the thread wraps, which um, I totally do mind. So um, we're going to try to avoid that. So you can see I've kind of pushed those lead wraps together as much as I can. And I'm going to start this thread. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. This is 140 denier UTC. And it's just red in this case. Um, red and orange are my two favorite colors. You can tie brown and pink ones too. But red and orange are my two favorites. Um, you don't want to use 70, it's just 70 denier. Uh, it'll take you all day to build it up. So I started that thread just behind the eye, and I'm not really worried about this tag end. I'll just kind of hold it down. But I'm going to build, start to build a thread dam from the hook shank up onto those lead wraps. And you can see how that tag will get caught as I go. Like so. Now as I start to wrap, um, I tie left-handed, so as I wrap, um, I'm going to hold these lead wraps in place back here so I don't push them. Uh, but as I wrap the thread, my thread will flatten out. So I'm going to make my initial layer of thread here up over the lead. Not really overlapping, but I'm trying to get as much coverage as I can out of this all the way to the back and then I'll jump down off the back end and you can see how that thread is really spread out as I got back there that's all part of the plan now I'm going to take a piece of small silver wire and again see how, like, how that's all wound up there so you know I'm not messing around so I'm going to take a piece of this small lead wire or uh, small silver wire and I'm going to catch it just back here you can see where I'm crossing it just at the back end of the lead and I'll pull it down to length and then I'll pull it out because I know you wanted to see that again. Pull that down to length. And I'm going to wrap down around the bend a bit here. And then I'm going to create another thread dam here at the back end. Don't worry about doing everything at once on these flies. you got to kind of work with the bear shanks as one piece and the, the leaded portion as another. So you can see how I'm just sort of tapering up onto the lead. Come well down around that bend. Now we should make a nice smooth transition up onto the lead. Now, as I'm coming forward here, I'm going to try to cover everything. I can unwind my thread and keep it laying nice and flat. As I turn that a bit here where I can see that a bit better, I want to just smooth that transition a bit. And 
And right through the center, I'm going to smooth them off, take a couple layers of thread there. Just back and forth, nice and smooth. Creating a nice smooth thread body covering all that lead. Now as I work up toward the front here, I want to keep this thread as flat as I can, but I want to make sure that I cover all the lead wraps underneath and sort of maintain that taper. As I get to this step, I want to kind of work up and down that thread dam. You can see I cover that last wrap of lead. And I'm going to come up just behind the eye. So you've got a nice smooth thread body there. And now I'm going to take my silver wire and I'm just going to evenly spiral this up the hook. Right up to the eye. Tie it off with a few turns. Just pop that out. Just a little thread head to cover that up. And then we'll finish up behind the eye. Trim that thread out. And really you could call it done there if you're if you're a quitter. Uh, but we're gonna put some sort of coating over the top. You can use Sally Hansen's or just regular head cement. Uh, with regular head cement I like to go a couple of co couple of coats. Um, I'm gonna use this solar as ultra thin. I'm gonna put a nice coat over the top. I want to get all the way around the hook. Nice and smooth. Like so, just to gloss things up there. I just want to make sure I don't have extra that's kind of sagging on the underside of the hook. And then I'll cook that up with my UV lamp. And there's our finished pig sticker. You know, just a red sand on worm on a size 6 hook. This seems like a, uh, a big fly. You know, it sounds, sounds big because it's a size 6. It's really about half the size of conventional San Juan worm. So it's actually a kind of a small worm, um, which can be a little bit more stealthy. And you can certainly tie it in other sizes, but I'll be honest with you, I fish it in size 6 only. Um, red and orange, those are the two colors that I use most, um, both with the silver wire rib. And, uh, man, that thing does catch fish. They, uh, it tumbles through the water. You can kind of see the angle of the hook. Um, tumbles through the water, looks like it's moving around, flipping around, and uh, it does catch some big fish. So uh, twist a few up, throw those in your box, try them next time you're out. Hope you enjoy it.